happening. Well, less than two weeks until Thanksgiving, and quite a few parents are looking for ways to instill the spirit of giving in their children. We'll get ready to meet some little ones from Westchester who are learning the lesson of generosity. These kindergartners dressed in their PJs are yelling, stuff the bus, and they're stuffing it with brand new books and pajamas they're donating to children in need. The kids couldn't wait to tell me about the jammies. Well, I love peace signs, and I love these colors. Mm -hmm. They're so cool. And so there's another little girl who's going to be really warm with this. Be soft. <laughs> the program started when Genevieve Paturo volunteered at shelters reading to children. She saw many of the kids had no change of clothes to sleep in, so she brought them pajamas. When I handed them out, there was one little girl who wouldn't take them, and I said, don't you want your pajamas? And she said, what are they? I was horrified that kids here in our backyards are, are so traumatized at such a young age and the simple comfort of a pair of pajamas is so new to them. That was 10 years ago. Today, children nationwide have received nearly a million pajamas and books donated by companies and students. Here at Todd Elementary, the kids started collecting less than two weeks ago. In that time, they came up with 349 books, 341 sets of pajamas, way above their goals. I thought there was only like a few families that a few families and a few children that didn't have much, much of anything. But now there's like thousands of kids out there that don't really have anything. But you and your school are helping so much. Yeah, and I'm really proud of my school. We're all groups of people and then we should help everybody else in our universe. Joining us this morning is Genevieve Vittura, who founded the Pajama Program 10 years ago, and it's so nice to see you again. Oh, it's so nice to see you. Thank you. You know, it's such a win-win situation what you've created, because not only do the children who need the pajamas and books get them, but these kids learn so much. Isn't it great? Yeah, and they're so enthusiastic, mm -hmm. and they, they don't understand until right. I meet with them at the first, you know, first time, and I tell them about the kids they'll be helping, and then they get it. Wow. Now, we right now, it's an all-year-round program, mm -hmm. but we are really in the danger season. We're in danger season. It's started October 1st mm -hmm. temperatures go down at night and it's you know it's chilly we feel it and I, I lie in bed trying to go to sleep thinking what are these kids feeling until right. we get them pajamas some of them are in you know a, a very bad situation and cold and frightened so it danger season goes through March 31st uh, and we're trying to reach as many kids in the New York area as possible and let's talk more about exactly where the pajamas and books goes and the situation the children are in mm -hmm. we serve what we call receiving organization mm -hmm. which is um, it can be a shelter it can be a group home which is uh, you know the the orphanage of today yeah. groups of children live together with staff and children living with a family member below poverty level different situations where they may not be cared for you know or have what they need to fall asleep in a calm and, and warm way wow how can people get involved? I mean, because you know, so many schools and so many people are looking mm -hmm. for ways to help. Mm -hmm. Well, we have lots of ways to get involved. We serve kids from infant to teen till the state releases them from you know, their custody. And so most of the time, as you can see by the television with the kids, little pajamas are what people donate because they're, they're cute and they're wonderful. And we never have enough. But we need to raise the money for the big sizes because when mm -hmm. our kids are, uh, these days are, eight, nine, ten, and they're wearing, you know, adult size, small, medium, and large. So we're, we need to raise $50,000 to reach these children so they're not forgotten, these teens. And Genevieve, your story is so amazing because we were talking, you were a workaholic, which so many of us can relate to, and it changed. Tell us about that day. Yeah, it really changed by accident one day. Um, I didn't have kids of my own, and I just thought, my husband and I thought, well, maybe if you read to kids, you know, you fulfill something, you know, that you, you want to do with children. And I started to read in shelters. And one night I saw that some of them were being taken into a room for the first night away from the family that they knew that wasn't treating them well and were in makeshift beds, mm -hmm. not changing in it into anything. And when I brought pajamas as a surprise the next week and one little girl said, what are these? I, my heart just fell. I, I just didn't understand. And she told me she wore her pants. And the stories I heard about some of the children that are newly removed from a painful home situation broke my heart. And no child should go to sleep like that. We need, we need to keep them warm and feel loved and remembered.
Well, you are doing such great work, and you are spreading your word and your message to give it the little boy we talked to who now knows what you learned as an adult about how many children are in need. So That's thank great. You. They're our future, these they kids. Really are. Genevieve, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. And to learn more about the pajama program, just head over to our website, cbsnewyork.com. Right back to you.